Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this ink splash effect, which shows another clip on it. And this is one of the popular effects right now. Everybody using it on their music video. So this is how you do it. So here in After Effects, you can see I have two clips stacked up on each other to make that effect. And at the top, make sure you have the clip which you wanna make the ink effect on. So to create the effect, we're gonna use the overlay as alpha map. So for that, I have this overlay right here, a ink overlay. I'll link it in the description if you want to download this. So just drag and drop to into your project file and drag it into your comp right here. And you can just lower down the size of it. And now if you take a look on it, you can see it's like an ink splash. In the description, I'll link like two or three so you can choose through. But this is the one that I'm using. So firstly, we're going to hide this for now. And selecting my footage layer, you make sure you add toggle switches and more until you see your track mat and the blending modes after that you can see an option called track mat written right here so to add our track mat on our ink layer make sure you take this pick with tool that's on track mat make sure you are in track mat and just link it to the ink layer simple as that and right beside your track mat you will see our option called alpha mat just click it once and it will turn into luma and i like to invert this as well and now if i play it through you can see this ink effect we already have it it looks really cool already you can leave it right here if you want but we're gonna spice it up with some effects so firstly to spice it up more i like to add a triton onto my background clip and set the mid tones as red then go over to blend with original bring it up in the first frame make sure to hit the keyframe on it and right where your splash comes in you can just bring bring down the amount and with it i like to add a fast blocks blur and hit the stopwatch in there go a bit further and just bring up the amount maybe that's just too much Let's just lower it down to 4. So it like focuses on our main clip. After this, add an adjustment layer. And firstly, I like to add a distort chroma into here and bring up the blur lens. So I'm gonna lower down the amount to 0 at the first. And go over to the end and just bring up the amount to something like this. Also, if you see like clipping in the edges, you can add like a motion tile to fix that up. A uh, simple motion tile. Set it to 200 by 200 mirror edges and put it before your distort chroma you can even go to like blur lens and keyframe that as well if you like so lower down the amount at the beginning to something like 200 and go up as it goes nah i don't like that let's just leave blur lens for now and just do with it with the amount also you can use my grunge fx if you have so you can use grunge fx to add like different preset onto here like black and white glow would look really hard onto this i already know it looks really hard also from the add-on a uh, little wiggle transition would look super dope uh, wiggle transition i like that for sure i'm keeping the effects so something like here yeah i really like the effect it makes them splash more alive i feel like maybe i'm gonna remove the glow from it so it's not glowing at the moment and as you can see adding that little preset on adds so much if you want to download this preset i'll link it in the description it's totally dope like it's one of my favorite effects for sure i use it on like every single music video on mine it saves a lot of time and helps with the workflow but anyways i like to add another glow on here which is deep glow and i'll lower down the exposure at the beginning and go over towards the end and bring up the deep glow so we have a bit of glowing on yeah that's perfect maybe i'm gonna remove this flicker and add my own flicker onto here so a sapphire flicker and lower down the amount at the beginning go over to the end just bring it up and put it before my deep glow and after all select all of your layers pre comp it and add like a rsmb at the top to finish it off and after the rsmb my final effect looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this we are consistently dropping sauce also follow me on instagram if you like join my discord server i'm really active in there so yeah see you in next video peace